Hawaiian Coast. Brought to you in association with Pazurina Holiday Homes. Pazurina Holiday Homes, your gateway to owning a piece of coastal Kenya. Welcome to this online series, I on Coast. And today we are going to educate you about what is now commonly known as Dongokundu Bridge. This is a bridge that has three in one. There is the Mwache section, then there is uh, Zunza, and this is Muteza. Muteza is the longest of the three, and it is 1.44 kilometers. And uh, we'll be telling about the expected socio-economic impact of this project. The project is known as Mombasa Southern Bypass Project. And we are with engineers from the Kenya National Highways Authority and they are ready to take us through the project. The Dongokundu Bridge is part of the Mombasa Southern Bypass Project that is situated in both Mombasa and Kwale counties. It is being implemented by the Kenya National Highways Authority the contractor is Fujita Corporation, Mizubishi Corporation Consortium. Right now, uh, phase one and phase three are complete. We are left with phase two, these are 90% completion. Uh, we expect uh, the project to be completed within the next two months, if all the funding is available. The project, which commenced on 13th March 2020, is funded by the Japan International Cooperation Agency, commonly known as JICA, and the Government of Kenya, to the tune of about 24 billion Kenya shillings. Uh, Mombasa South Bypass is, uh, is composed of three phases. We have the phase one, which is across, that's around 10 kilometers. That was finished in 2018 is currently in use. It brings the traffic from Nairobi to the port and also to the Mombasa island and it also evacuates traffic to, the, to, the, to Nairobi and onwards. We also have a, a package two. That bridge primarily has the three bridges which crosses the sea. We have the Moache Bridge, the Sunza Viaduct and what is right behind me this is the Muteza Bridge, 1.4 kilometers long. It joins the Package 3, which is around 6 kilometers. This road links to the Kibundani interchange. At the interchange, you're able to link to it and go towards Ukunda and also to Tanzania. The objective of the project is to provide road connectivity to the south coast, including the Dongokundu Special Economic Zone for socio-economic development. This will provide a lot of employment to the locals as uh, there will be a lot of foreign companies that will come to invest here. The other objective is to provide connection to and from Moy International Airport and SGR Miritini Terminus, hence improving tourism and hospitality in South Coast. When you land at Moy International Airport and your interest is uh, the South Coast, uh, you will just use the Portreeds Road get into the phase one of the road which is complete, join the road. Uh, within 20 minutes, you'll be on the Ukunda Likoni Road. Same as from Nairobi, if you're not interested in entering the town, you can just uh, divert at the, just before you get to Miritini. Right now, motorists from Mombasa have to use Likoni Ferry to connect to Kwale County, including those traveling to Tanzania via Lunga Lunga. The journey from Moi International Airport to Ukunda could take well over three hours during rush hours. But with the Dongokundu Bridge, that journey will be reduced to less than one hour. The project is also aimed at promoting trade facilitation and thereby improving the socio-economic development of Kenya and neighboring countries, and to open up the Zunza area and Kinango sub-county of Kwale County to motorized traffic. Uh, right now, we are standing at the end of the Mombasa Southern Bypass. Uh, this area is called Kibundani Interchange. Stakeholders in the tourism and hospitality sector 
are equally upbeat about the expected socio-economic impact of the project. Jeff Mukolwe is the general manager of Baba Beach Hotel in Diani. What it's going to do, one, is it's going to open up Kwale County completely. Kwale County has been seen to be uh, very inaccessible because for you to access Kwale County, you'd have to come from the Mombasa direction, of course, but then you'd have to cross the ferry. Uh, and that has, has made Kwale County very difficult. Most importantly for us in tourism, you now have a situation where you have the train station, the Madaraka Express in Mombasa, you have Moy Airport in Mombasa bringing international flights, and you can now access uh, Diani in about 30 minutes. As we speak now, before that is open, it takes you about three to four hours to get here. Joseph Njoroge, the managing director of Pazurina Holiday Homes that has projects in Diani, says the Mombasa Southern Bypass project will also have a positive impact on the property sector, including increase in the value of land. And that has attracted so many investors. Uh, as we've been moving around, you've seen people building walls, mm. houses coming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are so excited yeah. because uh, even tourists will comfortably come down here. Yeah. As you also know, the airport has been expanded. Yeah, the airport has been expanded. And uh, a lot of activities have uh, started coming up, mm. even uh, rich activities. We've seen uh, tourists from uh, around the world having major activities here in Diani. Mm -hmm. So these are the moments we've been waiting mm -hmm. to see uh, Diani opening up. Mm -hmm. Diani opening up to the world mm -hmm. and, uh, of course, to, to the investors. The Mombasa Southern Bypass Project has environment and corporate social responsibility components. We planted uh, 70 hectares of mangrove. So for every mangrove that was cut to allow for the construction of the bridge, we planted four mangrove plants. Uh, furthermore, there is a, we have a, a lot of CSR activities here. We have provided some uh, police stations for security. During the project, uh, we also provided uh, books to the nearby schools and uh, also provided water. We built uh, some boreholes for the community. In terms of the employment, we have uh, we've gotten a lot of local employment from the local area. Also specialized employment, we have gotten quite a number of specialized craftsmen, also engineers, also from the Mombasa, Kuala, Kalifi area. And that's an overview of the expected socio-economic impact of the Mombasa Southern Bypass Project. Many thanks for watching this episode of Eye on Coast.